Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are live on the Ripple Affair, keeping your nipples erect and your ladies' clitoris wet. We have a special guest here this week. We have Manazil. I'm going to tell him to get nice up into that mic and introduce himself to the people. Swoop. What up? What does it sound like? Man is ill. What, what, what you feeling like, man? You've, you've been back in Adelaide. What, what, you just got in today? or? I did a show um, in Port Link in my hometown last night. Um, I fucking flew in here like 8 o'clock this morning, man. So. Man, I appreciate it. How was it out in Lincoln too, man? Because that, that's where you're from, technically. Yeah, bro. It was fucking live, man. Those dudes get rowdy as. Uh, had a fucking pack show out. And dudes was going crazy. It was fucking next level, bro. So, how do your fans respond in Lincoln, man? Is it is it because you're from there that they really rock out with you and ride with you? There's, there's not many like hip hop heads do up there. So like, we, you go get a couple hundred people and they're there for me because you know what I represent for the town. They they love and appreciate seeing somebody go and put the fucking town on the map and shit, man. They really fucking dig that shit. So they come out and they show a lot of love and a lot of respect and support, man. It's a, it's a beautiful. That's thing. cool, man. That's cool. I, I kind of feel like if, if you're from Port Lincoln, you're probably giving people a reason to want to go to Port Lincoln, man. Because otherwise, it's just kind of like a stop through town, right? Like, I'm not even being nah, a dick, nah, but nah, I think dude, it is. It's like, it's like a fucking seafood capital of the world, bro. Yeah, I got to say, I went there for some oysters once, man. Oh, no. Port Lincoln's popping, man. Yeah, I think I spent a, like three or four days there. Yeah, so it's not a stop through town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, my bad, my bad. I, I was trying. I was you can trying go swimming with the town, sharks, you know bro. You can swim with the tuna. You can go and fucking talk shit to people who used to know me. There, there's you all can sorts tell of attractions. You know, man, it's ill. You exactly. Can... There's, there's a lot right, of things man, to do there. That's some cool shit. Now, what I also want to talk about, man, is is I'm I'm, I'm gonna let the listeners know something they probably don't know. But where I first met you, and I don't even know if you know this, uh. but I think it was about 05, 06 or some shit. It was in the clinic. And it oh, was like wow. a freestyle battle thing was going on, and oh, I think you just came into the qualifiers. Was it like the night, the night train joint in 07? I reckon it was no, like man, it was before that. It was like down in the clinic basement, and you had just come to be a, in the qualifiers. I think you were about 13 years old. You had two of your boys with you, and I think you were you were young as fuck, man. Yeah, and I, like, reckon, I reckon I know this shit, and there was like, there was like dudes like Crazy Eyes, there was dudes like... Purpose and K were judging and shit. Purpose and K were judging, man. That's the exact moment yeah, I'm yeah. talking about. And I think Mandel was there too. Yeah, and it was love. J- Chase was there, bro. I remember walking up into that piece and being like real, like taken aback because those were dudes who I seen on like a MySpace, you know what I mean? It was back in the Definitely, MySpace era. And those were all dudes who were who were killing it, who still are killing it. Um, And, and it was fucking crazy just to be amongst the scene and, and around heads who are... I'd fucking known of, do you know what I mean? It was hundred percent, man. man. The, the crazy thing is too, a lot of people don't realize like where we come from around that oh five oh six time. Like a lot of the people that were out then are like killing it now. Like yeah. it was a good time. A lot of people came from that sort of. Oh, dudes like K K twenty one killing it, bro. Dudes like Trumps it. and shit, man. Dunks and all. Trumps like, and dunks with that dudes, new Charlie shit. There's dudes like who've been at purpose and prime fucking for ages, bro. Like there's, there's cats who've been established and. Yeah, man, it's fucking great to see where they've taken it. There, there was a time, man, where, like, you just couldn't go anywhere without seeing Pagan Ellipsis. Like, they were at a battle show every Friday, everything. Saturday. Everything. Plus, they were performing, like, Mixed twice a week, tapes. too, so you just couldn't get away without seeing them. All of that, man. But it was cool, man, and you even, uh, they, didn't you freestyle battle purpose, too, like, yeah, around 07? No, in the, in the um, world, uh, fuck, in the world Adelaide Freestyle Comp, like, two years ago, they had at Febberton Theatre. Um, I thought in, you battled him before that. No, no, no. So with, they had the World Adelaide Freestyle Comp. It was the heavyweight division. Um, it was myself, Purpose, The Tongue, and Social Joe from Social Change. Yep, and um, yep. we battled each other like two or three times, I think, that night. And um, I ended up taking out that. I, got, I ended up taking out the $10,000 prize. And it was crazy because I was battling dudes who I've always looked up to, like The Tongue and Purpose and, and you know, just Joe who have been established heads and killing it since before I came into it. And I was also doing it in front of like dudes like Trials, you know, oh, there, Delta, yeah, there was industry Legends, bro. There, it, was, it was a fucking huge event. So The crazy thing about it too, point. man, like if you had ever told me that Battle Rap was going to make its way into Thebiton Theatre and yeah. like just on that level, I would have never believed you like five or six years ago, man. That like, was next level, bro. That shit was fucking live, bro. That was crazy, man. And the vibe was good too, man, because it kind of like acapella battling was already huge at that point, but yeah. it kind of took me back. Like you could see a lot of the people were there for the freestyle battles. Uh, like, it was all free, man. It was all like topical battles compliment battles you know what i mean like it was no real way you could do written you know what i mean so it really was like the p- pure essence man 
Yeah, hundred percent, man. Did you find that like like more of a challenge, or did you feel more comfortable because no, it was that? I, I love that shit, bro. Yeah, like, no, honestly, I love that shit like too. fucking. I I, I I love freestyle shit. I, I like I love getting a topic or whatever, man. It's, it pushes your creativity. It forces you to have that evolution of your your wit. You know what I mean? And and that was really something I felt comfortable with at the time. You know. I miss that 100%, man. Like, it's, it hasn't gone anywhere, but I just miss the days when everybody was chilling, everybody knew each other, before any of us got big in any way, shape, or form, and you would just kick a free out in the car park or something. Or... It still happens, bro. It still exactly, happens. still happens. I'm not going to say it's died off or nothing. It's just not... I wish it happened more, it's, you know It's not I mean? as prevalent, yeah. Exactly, up. exactly. But you're running events and shit, bro. You don't really have time to be out heaping that shit, you know what I mean? I'm sure it's, it's, crazy, it's man. still like, heavy, man. I'm, I'm glad I'm doing what I'm doing, you know what I mean? I'm happy to be behind the scenes and, like, putting on big events and stuff, but I do kind of miss yeah, just being able to chill a little bit. and Being able to chat that shit, for sure. Exactly, man, exactly. You know where I'm coming from, because you've kind of, like, in a sense, been a part of battle events, too. Like, I know you kind of helped out with the... Did you help out with the Don't Float tournament, or no, you were at least no, there, I was, right? I was just there, man. I was trying to maintain a presence, bro, showing the support regardless as to whether I'm inv involved, you know what I mean? I think it's yeah, important, that's cool, man. important to fucking be an avid supporter as well as a participant, you know what I mean? 100%, man. I kind of feel like once it's in you, like, once you've come from battle rap and it's really done so many good things for you, it's hard to not kind of pay homage and, and even support, regardless you know? it's not like an like i don't feel like i have to do that but i enjoy it bro i fucking love you enjoy the competitiveness i, I enjoy like the culture i enjoy like the creativity i enjoy the animosity like it's, it's something if even even if i wasn't participating in it, i would probably still like check it out do you know what i mean yeah 100 percent, man the, the, the other people i like to salute as well is people like k21 uh, trials uh purpose yeah because they still come in but like i still see suffer at battle events man yeah, you know what i mean i really dudes, appreciate that those shit. dudes are fucking legends legends forever. man and they and don't have to do that either like. no not at all like none of us have to but it's just good to see that that people respect and still love where they came from and, and still support the people that are doing it now and that they truly enjoy it man because the fact they're there means that they, they see value in it they see merit yeah, they in it you know what i mean they 100%. find entertainment from it that's that's great that we can do things to entertain those dudes like what they've done for us 100 percent, man and it's kind of like if you if, if you're an up-and-coming rapper or a battle rapper and you see suffer at an event or you see trials chilling in the crowd or k comes up to you and says what's up man like you feel good you feel like you're in the right, right spot and you're the, doing the right thing the, the first few like freestyle comps i went in like suffer and those dudes were present like i remember one of the freestyle comps i was in i battled uh, all day in the final and like honson jumped up on stage so it's fucking hugely that's huge. crazy it's amazing man. to have that validation you know what i mean get props from dudes like that man 100 percent, that bro, means like, more than winning a battle does you know what i mean definitely definitely because it's basically you've got people that you look up to validating you and saying that you're the shit too you yeah know? and that's that's crazy i remember seeing all day do his first like show too man like i think it was at a culture show with the jade monkey dude uh, was nervous as fuck bro. like when he gets on stage I'm thinking he's not even going to get through it. You know right, what I mean? Dudes, dudes, like, people can say what they will about all day. You know, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of, like, his music. It's not really for me. Um, but that, like, I battled that dude in my first ever freestyle comp in the finals. Yeah, I man. bet him. And, like, he's given me props for that with his fan base. You know what I mean? And, and he's come from that, bro. When I when I first met dude, he was, like, chilling with dudes, like, dialect, motions. And I remember that, people, too, man. People don't fucking know that his, his roots go that far back in the shit, man. So A lot of people don't even know that his roots are hip-hop, too. A lot of people think, like, he might just be a comedian who decided to delve into hip-hop. It's the was, other way around. And he was an Adelaide boy as well, man. Like, yeah, people forget that, too, because he's living in Melbourne for his career right now, which uh. which is, is he's doing really well. What I was going to say, too, man, is, like, he looked really nervous when he was on stage. I almost he wasn't gonna get through his shit yeah the second he started spitting on that whole like rapper confidence just came out you that's know what I, mean? and I think that's like his sort of his like personality that's the thing that i think it really makes him big that sort of introverted um you know sort of like like hipster sort of thing do you know what i mean yeah, that's, yeah, i think yeah, that's yeah. where a lot of his sort of uh image and stuff is and I he's got he, that swag he too, does man, that like, well so, man, i like it i like it's it obviously too. working for him dude 100 percent, man now let's kind of fast forward man because I've, I've got you on the show i want to chat to you as much as possible so i want to talk about 
when you first jumped into the acapella battle scene. Uh. I believe it was with God Beef Battle League and it was yeah. you versus Gospel back in about 2010. Yeah, yeah, that was the first acapella shit. I'd, I'd done a few freestyle battles before then and fucking been successful in that and decided to make the leap and you were kind enough to give me an opportunity. It was crazy too, man, because that was, I guarantee you, that was the first time I'd seen you since like 06, since yeah. that moment in the clinic. So I heard like somebody was telling me, um, you should really put this man as ill kid on. And I'm wow. like, I'm like, who is he? Because I kind of didn't remember your name from back then. Yeah, and somebody yeah. goes, do you ever remember that time in the clinic, that dude? And I'm like, oh, that dude, All that right. dude. So right. some, 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 somebody, I can't even remember who it was that reached out to me and told me to put you on, but I'm fucking glad they did. Yeah, big ups to that, dude. Big ups to whoever <laughs> that was, man. Please feel free to speak up, too, or hit up Manners and just let him know. If you don't want to take credit publicly, that's fine, but much appreciated, man. Yeah. Um, so basically, you had a dope battle with Gospel. Gospel did well as well, but I think you pretty much immediately made some noise with that first battle. Yeah, bro. I've, I, I came in, like, looking back on it now, do you know what I mean? In comparisons to our, our both of our later works, is by far neither of our best battles. Battle, but you know you could see that there was something in the making there gospel had some fucking hilarious shit definitely you know, man i won't take was, that away it was a good you. battle for for both of us and fucking it's, it was the beginning of some fucking dope shit man definitely man i think it was like that was the time for acapella rap battling too because that was the time that it was probably at its biggest it was so, huge it was huge bro. huge man and everybody like regular faces every event everybody will come out and pay at the door like nowadays sometimes we struggle with that yeah, people yeah. wait to see it on YouTube now, but this is back when people yeah. had to come out and see it live. Yeah. When was I don't I don't think Dottie pays for any battles. I don't think Dottie's <laughs> ever paid to get into any show or battle event anyway. I don't think he's paid for anything ever. No, no, I, I don't <laughs> think so either. I don't think so either. Um, it's because I'm, I'm always on the door. I'm always on the door. Always on the door. <laughs> always manages to get on my fucking guest list too. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> the door, ladies. That's how. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like bet I bet you do. I bet you do. The art of freestyle. Works as magic. I'm not even gonna lie. And uh, I, t I tell you what, man. Cut to so that that was your first battle, and like at the time it might have just seemed like oh, it's Manners versus Gospel. These are some new guys, but I think it got like 10,000 views in its first week, yeah, yeah. which at the time in 2010 was a big thing. And it wasn't even because the footage was was like lost, so that wasn't even oh, like I your forgot footage. Too man, that, that came was, out. That was like some bootleg footage. You know what, man? I actually forgot that didn't come out till like a year or two later. I until, forgot about until that until after the disaster battle. All right, well that, that that's <laughs> whack. I kind of forgot that. I so, so what was your first battle that came out? Uh, fuck, bro. Well, was that you versus Black Pope? Yeah, that might have been it. That might have been it. All right, and that's probably the one that got the ten thousand views then, because yeah, I'm like yeah. my head's fucked up then. There's a few, man. Yeah. But I, I tell you what, man, I, I even remember the War of the Worlds event where we had where we had like Cursor, we had Real Deal, we uh, had Fresco, we uh. had 60. But you battled twice. You battled Cortex and you battled somebody battled else. I battled Cryptic as well. Battled Cryptic as well. Because I went, I, went I went over to motherfucking Melbourne and did a battle when I took my first oh, loss. So I'd had like a pretty good... A pretty good streak of not losing. And so you had I, the fire in the belly. Yeah, after I took that first loss, I was like, well, I'm going to battle two motherfuckers this time, man. 100%, man, because I remember, I think we had you versus Cryptic locked in, and then I turned around, I was like, you know what? Cortex needs an opponent. And I was thinking in my head, if anybody's going to be able to ride for two opponents, it's probably Manazil. Yeah, bro. I think I either called you or I hit you up online or whatever, and you basically agreed right there on the spot. Yeah, bro. Um, and that was cool. And again, man, like, like that was a crazy time because there was about, a lot of people forget this, but there was about three or 400 people at that event. That was crazy. That's Fowler's Live that was packed out. And those battles actually got a lot of views too. Like, yeah, bro, that shit was live. It was jumping off. That man. was a really good time for battling, man. So if we cut to later on in your career, you battled disaster. Uh. This was at, uh, you know what, I don't even remember what event this was, but this it was a couple of years ago though, right? Yeah, yeah, 2012. And, uh, man, you were battling disaster, and I remember, this is something for the people listening in, like, you can get some exclusives when we kind of reflect and look back, but you were kind of intimidated about battling Diz to begin with. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't, I was like... That surprised I, me I, about I, you. I, re I recognized the opportunity, and it was something I'd always, like, battling dudes of that caliber was something I always wanted to do, but at that time, like, this is falling back a bit these days, but, like, at that time, he was the most menacing... He had just battled Devastating, cannabis. like, he was... He was on his shit, do you know what I mean? That 100%. Was, that was when he was the, he was battle rap at that point. And yeah, to be yeah, on that stage, it wasn't just intimidating in, fair, like the, in terms of like battling him. It was like, 
intimidating as to where the fans are going to think I deserve that match. Like, so you felt like was, the world was watching? Yeah, there a was sense. a lot of, lot of things. And that really, I think, played a major part in, in my preparation for that and going so hard with it. Because a lot of people today still think that was one of my best battles. 100%, man. And, and the funny thing is, like, that battle is now, I think, at about 120k views. Yeah. It had a slow climb to begin with, but yeah. at some point, that battle must have started to... It jumped off, man. Exactly, man. And it's a dope, dope battle. And I, I remember, like, this is back when a lot of us were chilling. This is back when we all had time to chill with each other. And I remember oh. you telling me, I think we were chilling at Dottie's crib, and you were actually telling me that you were intimidated. Like, you were you were nervous about the battle, and I'd yeah. never heard you say that before. It took, it took me, like a, like, a day or two to accept the battle. Normally, like, if you give me a name or something, I'll tell you on a spot. Normally, you're like, fuck yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But I had yeah. to, like, I had to fucking chill out. I had to think about it. I had to ask the homies if they thought it was a good move. And, and yeah, like... um. I'm, I'm really glad, glad you did it, man. Yeah, the same, same. It was I think Diz good. is too, because like Diz, Diz battled, uh, he battled Jay Legend that weekend too. Uh -huh. But when he came, salute to Jay Legend, by the way, dope battle rapper, good dude too. Yeah. But uh, Diz kind of said that you were the one he was worried about because he, he knew that Jay Legend would be like the entertaining battle, he, the chuckle battle. He said it in the <clears throat> in the battle as well. He gave me props like two or three times, you know what I mean? A hundred percent, yeah. And, yeah. and to this day, like I've spoken to him and... He said, you know, some of the stuff, his stuff that he's written for me is some of his favorite shit that he's written. And the stuff that I said to him was some of the, like, favorite distance he's received, like the stuff about neither one of us being able to see our women and, like, <laughs> the shit like that, he, he really enjoyed. So it was cool to have that mutual respect for one another, man. I fucking love that, too. And the thing is, like, like Diz is a really good dude. A lot of people only see the battle rapper that's on camera. Yeah, but yeah. he is cocky as shit. But yeah. still... He threw out the props to you and was yeah. vocal about about liking you. So that that carries a lot of weight with me, and I, I'm yeah. glad that he was fucking with you as well. Yeah, he was a good. Because that means I made a good decision. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that was a good good one, bro. And uh, big ups, bro. Yeah, no, no, big <laughs> ups to you too, man. Because at that point, you'd already like you'd battled pretty much everybody locally that you probably could have battled by that point. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, you just battled Shazam about two or three events before, which at yeah. that time was a big leap for you. But now yeah. you're battling Diz, which is a whole different kettle of yeah. fish. Uh, I had the Ilmac battle as well. Did you I, have the Ilmac battle before? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've forgotten that, and man. And I had um, the anecdote. Fuck, I went, there was like, it was like on my, I had like a fucking steep climb, do you know what I mean? I, I went from, after I did the Devastator match, I did the Shazam match, the Defron match, that was, and uh, you were sprung and that shit was in the space of three weeks. Yeah, that's and crazy. Then, and man. then from there I went, you know, Annie, Dope, uh, Uno, Lava, fucking disaster, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's it. It's a good resume though, man. Good oh, resume. And yeah. it's just proof that, I mean, you've definitely challenged yourself against good people. Like, you're not really just fucking around, you know, it's th and there's some good opponents. And I was hungry as well at that stage, you know what I mean? Now I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lot, try to be a lot more smarter with how I choose my, my matches and stuff. But at that time, I was like just hungry as fuck to battle. And I suffered a bit for it as well. Like, in, like for example, like taking those three or four battles in the two or three week time period. I mean, like some of those battles I didn't prep as well as I should have liked the death from yeah, battle. Right, right. I think that could have been a lot better if I'd had time to focus on that more. I'm not taking anything away from him because he fucking bodied it. But um, I, I learned a, lo a large lesson, you know, sometimes being hungry and wanting to take everything, um, you know, you've got to learn when to pick and choose your battles. Definitely, man. You don't want to burn yourself out. That's the one thing I always say. There's a, there's a lot of battle rappers out there that are maybe now getting their name out, but when you see the same motherfucker battling like either every week or every month, I find it happens in Don't Flop more than out here now, just because oh. I guess they're... Um, they're popping off, man. Yeah, I guess they're popping off, but they've also got a big catalog of, of battle rappers now. So. But, and that's, but their standard as well is like far like above ours, you know what I mean? It so is those, now. those dudes are, 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 are able to fucking do that but even still it's like for your brand you've got to know when to pick and choose your matches you know a hundred percent man and i think it's like it's like you say man i think the battle rappers need to become aware of it themselves like er can't, can't tell them to chill out and take a break like they need to know when yeah you don't want to be on every fucking flyer of every event and then have the fans getting sick of you yeah to the point where they couldn't really give a fuck whether you were battling on the event or not you yeah. know what i mean i think and there's a few like real good examples of that dudes like i think like Sort of Uno did it to himself a bit. Do you I know what I mean? I think he's just recovering yeah, now. Yeah, and he actual Dotty just showed me one uh, his battle with I think Big J earlier today. Oh, we uh, don't flop. Yeah, and he came back like refined his style. That was a better Uno. Yeah, he's on some new shit. He's going for the URL 
sort of spot. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, as he's well, on the like, proving grounds of URL and all that. How how fuck is that? That he's done so many battles and then he has to go into the proving grounds. That's fucked up. But that's exactly <laughs> what we're talking about, though, right? Is that he did so many fucking battles and that so many of them he didn't come with his like he was exactly. stumbling or whatever like. Whereas if he'd maybe done ten battles across a period of like in a year, done no more than five to ten battles, but oh. they were all quality performances. Yeah. Dude probably wouldn't have had to done that. Yeah, yeah. So that that's what I'm saying to anybody tuning in. If there are any battle rappers tuned in or just aspiring battle rappers, make sure if you do jump to that platform, try when you're in the proof, proving stages. By all means, put yourself out there a little bit more, get your name out. But once you get to that point where people are really paying attention to you, viewing your battles, try and chill out, make sensible decisions. Doesn't mean if you think you've got the fire in in your belly, by all means battle your fucking heart out but once you get to that point where you've been battling all the time maybe just space it out a and little bit be smart with your matches as well like i remember when i got uh when i got the ilmac battle uh someone put it to me that i fucked up by taking a battle like that big that early in my sort of battle career because i'm not going to be able to top it i'm not going to be able to like do anything better so i made a That's conscious been proven wrong. i made a conscious decision that i'm I'm only going to take, you know, shit that is going to step up from there, whether it's exposure to new demographics or opportunities that are giving me experiences I haven't got. Like, I'm, I'm going to battle a scholar at the end of the month in New Zealand uh, from from Auckland. He's one of their, like, heavy he's hitting... He's one ounce over in New Zealand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's South Auckland sort of pride. And, um, like, that battle, like, he, he's, like, one of their most viewed. But, like, in in context of like the dudes I've battled like recently it's, it looks like a step down but I haven't been to Auckland before do you know what I mean and that's a new experience for me so that's something that's going to expose me to a new demographic so it might not add up views wise but so far as exposure to a new you're going to gain fans new, exactly sure. and that's, sure. that's 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 I feel like what you've got to do you've got to make those choices whether it's going to you know step you up in the quality of your opponent or step you up in the exposure to new fans 100% man like some people wonder why they see Ilmac battling like a don't flop rapper that's only had like two battles out it's it's not because Ilmac's doing it for the views or, or or the gimmick or anything like that it's actually because first of all he likes the competitive nature of battling but secondly if he knows he can come out to the UK battle at say the don't flop birthday or something even oh. if he's not battling the biggest dude on the roster he's still if gonna, he knows he can push CDs do yeah. shows while he's out there he's gonna get recognized and he's maintaining that presence out there sometimes is worth it exactly man and people people are still talking about him now like when's Zil Mac gonna be back and don't flop and the dude hasn't even been back and don't flop for like a year or two yeah but people are yeah. still talking about him pretty much every event and that's just proof that he's, he's smart about he's it. a dude who is real smart about it because he cannot he doesn't have to take that many battles but he maintains his relevance. Like, and he's up there with uh, the Soros so far as being one of the most long-standing names in the game. Man. And like, he's done probably what half as many battles as what the Soros has done, and still maintains the the equal level of respect because every time he comes through, it's fucking it's felt. Guaranteed because, quality yeah, performance. Yeah, he does. Man. He does some next regardless shit. of whether he's battling some dude that's only five battles deep or if he's battling a fucking OG. Regardless, he's gonna come with that A game performance. And it's gonna yeah, it's gonna be some groundbreaking shit. And it reflects well on him too. Like if he battles a relative nobody, but because of him and his dope performance, the battle gets 50, 60k views in another country. Oh. That's 50 to 60k, probably mostly views from that country yeah. that are going to get onto his shit. Exactly. I think it's smart. Um, now what we're going to do, man, like we could chat forever when it comes to the battle thing, but I do want to get into something that's coming up for you. February 28th, we're battling at the Vanguard event in Brisbane. Yes, yes. For those who don't know, the Vanguard event is Real Talk Battle League, Got Beef Battle League, Perth City Battles coming together under one roof with all of our talent pools. Uh, uh, you're one of the main event cards. You're battling, no, fuck it, I'm going to let you say. Who um, are you battling? I'm man? battling Mr. Two, so I'm everything. Peter Morris, he's the Saurus. Peter Morris, the Saurus. We just fucking mentioned it. West Coast uh. legend, two-time Squibble Jam winner, two-time fucking world rap champion. Uh-huh. That dude has a body of work behind him. He's got a body bag of work. And, uh, man, the dude's just recently been battling again, too. Like, he's just battled Bender. He's Does just he, battled has he DNA. stopped battling? Has he ever... I think he took, like, <laughs> maybe like a three. year off once nah. and then came back and did like five battles I reckon he took a year he would have taken like probably seemed like a year because you're used to seeing the source every <laughs> fucking battle event, but really he probably sat out like three events and even when I like took that battle I was like a bit I had like reservations about it because I was like oh, you know, really? what are people still checking for the source of shit and 
I they still accept. I, I still took it because I was like, at the end of the day, he's one of the dudes on my list who I came in and I was watching when I first started. You know what I mean? So it's whether yeah, yeah, whether yeah. Pe- whether he's a, a relevant name or not, he's still relevant to me. And then as soon as I saw that shit, he he took battles with fucking Arsenal. He's got Bender mm, yeah, at the ridiculous. end of this month. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, his fucking big K battle was incredible. So he's still incredible. just as fucking dope as he's ever been. And no, hundred percent. Salute to him for that. That, man salute uh-huh. to him for that I, I also gotta say man is um like, like you battling the source i always thought you would the, the source would meet at some point like yeah. i just thought you would battle at some point i actually it's thought it would have happened before now but i'm glad it's happening at a big event with yeah. a lot of meaning behind it. it it feels like it's it's been one of those there's certain battles man you can you can sort of tell like it was meant to happen it or, was always gonna happen yeah yeah and I'm uh, glad he, it's he asked for that event. he asked to battle me Do you know that's what I mean? like, kudos too man yeah and i think because the source has been out here so many times now like it was almost at a point where he was coming out here two or three times a year yeah the fucking girl out here and shit man yeah bro, pretty much clean. gunning for shit i think that happens everywhere he goes yeah he's, dude he's, goes to canada and he's <laughs> next thing you know he's with some canadian bitch but i heard he's been with the lady he's been with now for quite some time i thought like they broke doing, up oh I, I could be wrong man i'm not I hope sitting they there broke on, up because that's my whole <clears throat> first second and third round for the sake of for the sake of the battle, maybe he did. Maybe well, he did. even if he didn't, he did now. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> you you let him know in the battle. I'll, you'll, I'll you'll let be her stressing know. like, really? I broke up with my girl. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit her off and make her break up with him. <laughs> <laughs> That's crack, huh? Fucking wait, man. There's some big battles on that card too, man. Like Plans is battling Caustic. Yeah, um, bro, that is battle of the brutal motherfuckers. Definitely, because Plans is the Caustic of Australia, in my opinion. There's like, gonna be some offensive shit said in that one. Super bro. offensive shit, because I. No plans isn't scared to say shit. No, yeah, neither is Corsi, and man. And Corsic's just going to come. He, he wants to win these fans over, too. And they, so I know he wants to say some They both are go, go for the throat rappers, do you know what I mean? 100%. Like, then, uh, man, we got Wiz of Oz battling Madness. Oh, that's, like, that's, talk a, about a, that's fucking, a good one, bro. That's I like heavy. how random that is. And I'm just going to put my hand up and say that I actually set up that battle. Big Oz, man. Because that, um, that is like a clash of styles, but it also is one. It weirdly makes I think, sense. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. As like soon Dwiz, as I said it, man. Dwiz is super technical, bro. He's got those bars that give you the I just shitted face. And he's got the... Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> he's, he's got that fucking pen game down pat. And like Madness' entertainment factor is next level. So it's going to add so whether, much value to that. Whether battle. you're a fan of bars or jokes, you're going to be entertained by that one. So I think that's a real fucking good... That, that, class, that's man. what I like, man. That's why I feel like there's no floor in the matchup because if you're looking for bars, you're looking for that technical shit, Dwiz has got you there, and yeah. Madness is going to give you that entertainment value that will make you replay the battle so many times. And I think I think the, the clash as a whole is going to be what makes you replay it, you know, because it's going to be such man. a fucking competitive match, man. I'm glad we made that happen, man. So that's February 28th at Brisbane at the Hi-Fi Bar. Uh. Just before we close up the, uh, the, the chatting segment, man, I also want to say that in, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I also want to say in 2013, you came out with an album. You and Medusa teamed up. Yeah, yeah. What it looked like, MDMA. What it looked like, MDMA. And uh, you put that out yourself. I'm going to yeah. let you talk about it a little bit. Yeah. So uh, me me, uh, and Medusa, producer from Tasmania, we linked up. He did all the beats, all the raps. It's called MDMA because it's the first two letters of his name and the first two letters of my name. And it fucking works. And it's a great drug. And it will have the same effect on you <laughs> if you listen to the album. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, it's a long-awaited debut. It's, it's been coming in many forms for a fucking few years now, so it's finally out there. I got new shit coming as well, but this is, I think, a real good holistic sort of look at my influences and you know where I've been and you know what I'm what I'm bringing, man. And I think um, if you haven't heard it, check it out because. Uh, hopefully, I'm you a know, big fan of it, man. Hopefully, we can break some of those stereotypes about battle rappers not making Not music, being able to man. make 100%, man. And I think, you know what? You had a track with Dundee on there, too, and that dude yeah. fucking kills it. Like, I'm glad you Fuck had some good, good vocals on it, too, yeah. man. Yeah, I had Prime on there. That was something that you was... You did, too. I forgot that. was, that. like, a big... Like, we dropped the Ecstasy and Agony video clip with him uh, late last year, man. So that's fucking dope. Peep that on YouTube. Um... Yeah, there's there's some good features. There's dudes like Cortex as well, who obviously we talked earlier about me yeah, battling. He's a beast. Dudes like Tommy Ilfiger is on there. Tommy Ilfiger, I thought he, he was on the production, right? No, no, no. He's got a verse. Oh my bad. All right. Yeah, all yeah. Right. So um, he's on there as well, bro. It's it's real good. Cuts by Rob Shaker on the intro and shit. Rob it's official, Shaker's a bro. Beast. Yeah. He's yeah. out of Perth. Yeah, yeah. I met him uh, when we were in Perth on the God Beef weekend, man. He's good dude, fuck. but he's also a, fucking talented. He's a fuck. yeah. He's a boss, man. Uh, the the other thing is too much. So that dropped in 2013, but you did put it out through your own label, right? Through yeah. LMR. LMR Entertainment. It's uh, myself, Mr. Samo, and Big Grills as well. Your mate. 
Yep. Oh and, yeah, um, yeah. My best mate. And, We're um, attached to the hip, man. <laughs> and um and yeah, fucking, we've been making moves. I put uh, with that word Adelaide freestyle comp the ten thousand bucks I want from that. I put on a tour to launch Dope. the album. Um, I bought the homie Rates along with us as well. And um, shout out to Rates, man. Yeah, He's a fucking that that dude is a king, man. And um. Yeah, we fucking went around the country, bro. We hit every city and a couple places in between. Uh, we did a fucking stack of shows last year, and now I'm just working on this new shit, bro. And yeah, I'm glad to like. I'm glad to see you like like come back to do the battling too. I know we just talked about it, but now that the album's out, I feel like you actually have that window to maybe squeeze a couple battles uh, in there. That and I'm like, I'm I'm motivated again. Do you know what I mean? Bottom, you battling, got that fire in the belly. Battling has undergone a few fucking um, developments since I since I stepped out for a minute, yep, and um, yep, yep. it's given me time to get inspired because I was a bit jaded on it for a while. Like I, w- I just wasn't not not fucking with it, but I was a bit over. It. I think I was really influenced and inspired by the music. I was having so much fun with that and doing that. And um, you know, now that's the album sort of come to its touring cycle and promotion cycle. I'm really my head space is back in the battling and finishing off this No Plan B mixtape. I was actually about to bring up No Plan B because that's the uh, mixtape you've got coming out this year. Yeah. Now I I don't know how deep into the mixtape you are. I got I got like so I'm fucking flat out this month and I got the Storus battle at the end of next month. So I've got a three week sort of um, window of opportunity. Well, I'm going to try and get it finished. I've got a few tracks left to record, and then it's just mixing. I want to try have it out March, April. So, oh, I meant that'd be perfect. Yeah, but but check that shit, man. Got a few um, few collabs and shit. We're just waiting to finish locking all them in, and it's the, you know, I think Cunts are going to dig it, man. It's going to hold you over until the next official release comes through, man. So yeah. Hundred percent, man. And um, so with it, with the new mixtape, are you going to have some of your LMR camp on the mixtape, or is it more it's, about manners? It's it's like I'm trying to um. Basically, I'm just working around people's schedules, you know what I mean? So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Mrs. Ceremony, she just got done doing the Asia Cup um, intro yeah, she ceremony. she had a performance there, right? She, that was huge, bro. There's like 8 million people watching that. That's so, fucking like, incredible. You work- must feel good about that, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, I'm proud as, bro. So, she did that. Grills is touring and launching his album at the moment. So, what I can get together based on the time and the opportunities afforded to us is what I'll do. But there's artists who I really have been wanting to work with dudes like, um, I've done a few tracks with him, but I want to get some shit with Omac out of Perth. I've got the fucking homies, d and Dotty in the fucking yeah, back there on a fucking them, track. A uh, couple other boys, a uh, homie of fucking Christian James from up Queensland, man. I'm not familiar cats. with him. Uh, he's, he's fucking boss, bro. He uh, played uh, one of my Brisbane album launch with me. I peeped that dude and... He was talented, man, so I'm going to get him. He's uh, actually sent me a verse the other day. but um, Tight, tight. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just going to try and lock in. Oh, Rates is on there as well, man. So Homie yeah, Rates, yeah, big yeah. shout-outs to him, man. I just think he's killing it right now, dude. Uh, like, he's, yeah, his he's, solo shit. Yeah, he's next level, bro. Shout-outs to The Homie realist. Rates. There's a reason they call him the realist, man. 100% bro and like like met me raids curse from that like where we go back to about 2010 when the god beef thing was happening and rates was always at every battle event regardless yeah, yeah bro. good dude too like always always respectful to me gave me a lot of time so yeah. i'm glad to see a dude like that getting a little bit of success yeah. because he's winning bro motherfuckers like that deserve it man Fuck you. Yeah. and look for as much as being really aren't boys or whatever we got our problems i know he does a lot of work for the scene yeah and yeah. i do know that he's good at what he fucking does at the end of the day so i'm Fuck not yeah. mad at seeing him get a slice of the pie too you know what i mean fucking up bro he's one of the dudes responsible for really um Bringing back my sort of motivation and ins- you know inspire inspiration for the battling in his, seeing his just pure passion for a man and um, I was living with him for about a year two years maybe so I think you know seeing his uh, motivation and drive really really helped get me back into a man. I'm glad, man. I'm glad. Like, like at the end of the day, personal bullshit aside, you know when someone's doing and you, you know when someone's grinding and doing their shit. He's one of those people that does, man. Well done. Personal bullshit aside, I always think it's important to give people props where they where they deserve it. You got to be real about it, man. Hundred percent, man. I can't fake the funk. Uh, so what we're gonna do, man, is we've been chatting for a little while. We know we want to give some of these listeners some music, so we're gonna go to the music segment. This is uh. called Listen Up. This is why this is where I either drop tunes I don't think get heard enough or just haven't been heard in a little while. You, you were a fan of Professor Green, man? You heard his shit? Oh, I heard bits and pieces, man. He, he's a dude who battled Jin in the fucking yeah, Bahamas. He battled just everybody but, back but like, in those jump-off days, but man. Like he ba- they battled, like, in the fucking Bahamas on some, like, on some, like, super villain James Bond, like... The weird thing is, man, I've seen that battle, but I didn't know it was in the fucking Bahamas. It's in the Bahamas, bro, on some obscure-ass placement shit, like... That's crazy. They flew, and it was, like, 50 grand as well, like, they battled for, like, that was... 
That was big, man. And yeah, he was fucking Lily Allen for a bit. He was a boss, man. Damn it, he had his dick in that Lily Allen cunt, and yeah. they did a song together. That was crazy, yeah, man. Yeah, he's crazy. been he's been growing. Yeah, what do you That's got by him, bro? That's a good career too. All right, man. So we got we we got astronaut from Professor Green. So we're gonna drop that right now. DJ Blitz, drop that shit, and we'll be back with manners after these songs, man. Swoop. Uh. He was lying in wait Insistence from others had never led her astray As she ended her day Was persuaded by summer air to walk instead of getting a train A decision so innocent, as innocent as she Uncorrupted, so innocent and sweet An innocence interrupted by an incident A dissonance, two people so different in beliefs She who came from the depths and ascended Bumped into he who demented Intent on inflicting the same pain Had been lent him a decision made by he For she had never consented Her unprovoked and most venomous attack He took from her that which she can't get back And left her with that which she can't get rid of Which is why whenever it's time for lift off She, she builds a rocket out of stars in her spurs Straps up A habit she never wanted, a pain she needed numbing And she'd rather feel nothing than the pain An evening she can't forget memories She can't stomach not for nothing but a needle in her vein Friends she ignored till her phone stopped ringing Till her door stopped knocking A door she only opens to let him in But she has no money so she lets him come in. You can take that either way A window she rarely opens so she can see the day so she only uses to heat a spoon For her the only way that she can reach the moon She builds a rocket out of stars in her spoons Straps up The only way to make it to the moon Dear God, I hope you haven't forgot This young brave astronaut Looking up She opens a window for a glimpse out Eats a spoon over the stove Feels a familiar sting and then slips out With a window that isn't quite closed With a window open, a stove still lit Along with the rain came a gust of wind Which blew the fire out, gas still running And her still breathing the gas in She built a rocket out of stars in her Straps up The only way to make it to the moon Dear God, I hope you haven't forgot This young brave astronaut Alright, we are back at the Ripple Effect Keeping your nipples erect and your ladies clitoris wet We're about to drop a real good one, DJ Blitz Have you heard Detroit vs. Everybody? No, on the I haven't album? You were talking about it the other day oh, And I was going to listen treat, to it man. You were it in for a treat I popped up on my iTunes and I was like, ah eh. Homie, this is Detroit vs. Everybody This has got Big Sean, Danny Brown, Days Low, Royce the Five Nine And Trick Trick This is Detroit vs. Everybody from the Shady XV album I say <laughs> XV because I don't even know what that fucking means in Roman numerals 15 but uh, all right, fifteen, whatever, man. Let's bring Detroit versus everybody with DJ Blitz. Drop that shit. Tell them if they want it, they can come and get that. I swear I love my city, I just want love. See me, they say when we ain't ready for that. Detroit versus everybody. Uh, I took a bite off the rotten apple by the poison. 
and treat all these females need to email to make noise and now things changing a lot he fuck with my authority then he shell seashells but not by the seashore if he gang banging or not it's simple as the alphabet he f with me that g shell surely see he definitely is bout of this retail fraud he's weak the honest gesture the trigger finger round a diamond tester we tell flaw with heat the same soldier it's me myself and i riding around shooting my biopic in my autobiography range rover this ain't the squash beef steak you think it make up we think it lark for he's face the twin eagles and airs coop might as well ride by in the ambulance my parents shoot like skydiving in hammer pants so call it sibling robbery take his life call it the unforgivable robbery a wise man told me that holding a grudge is like letting somebody just live inside of your head rent free real talk i don't got time to evict these clowns y'all niggas been bitches that's none of my business but i don't sip tea it's nickel. It's nickel. ride around his block all he know is pitfalls that's why he always climbing out his drive i got a question do you want to ride or die I want the game in entirety, 100% cut, no stitches required Welcome to Detroit, where if you get that promotion, don't worry man The bullets will still be at your ass firing I still call it safe, I would suck if I was on pirate Boy, I hit the beat and just treat that shit like a diary I'm offended if you hear my new shit and you ain't rewinding me Self-made, I never needed your bell or a wire See, I'm never calling collect, I call to collect My homie wanted a Chevy, so I put my dog in the vet High, plus I'm so loyal that that paper boy is all that I fetch Up the ball in my hand and the ball in the net Bitch, I'm the DK, no offense, dunk on me I miss the big shot, these hoes get drunk off me I'm over-respected, my mom and gator community's over-protective So futuristic, I'm already over my next bitch Remin Listen on, listening to 50, 50 times a day Back when 10th grade was like 50 days away Trying to get paid 50 ways a day Used to put 50 on the layaway Now my closet 50 shades of gray 26 and I done lived a lifetime a few times From food times to great coupons In church trying to get a little savings Yeah, coupon I spit that A1 every day I'm hitting new primes Now the stakes high Niggas surprised at the new lines Taking down my number like You still ain't got a new line? Nah, it's the same We been laboring for years I know it took way long Longer than nine months, but fuck it, it's all in due time. I turn a blunt to a roach with dreams of being a beetle. Don't want to, I need to. You gotta learn to keep it cerebral. When you come up in a place where everyone got a peace, but ain't peaceful, this is just part one way to the sequel. Let's go. Let's go. Tell them if they want it, they can come and get that. I swear all on my city, I just want less. Tell them if they want it, they can come and get that. See me, they say, when they ain't ready for that. Detroit verse, everybody. Streets where they thirsty, starving to eat Just a step away from Valen, that's why they call it the D Are you be the whole reason for all of this honesty? Honestly, no honor roll, but honor up and I'm straight Cause I'm a land boy, nigga Them young niggas say, try to stack on your head You bleed out like on Grand Rip If they think y'all hood harder, then I may make the dip Know some callous, but I drink a four, I swish it and mill If the blicker hits it, kiss a bitch, so ask no remember it They say my city tougher than two fat bitches scissor it So nigga, I'm a better Became a movie and they used to use my motherfucking trailer to tease me with it. But I flipped that script like a refiller. Painkillers to pop the lid off that safety so it made me feel amazing. Maybe still a bravery. And if I may reiterate, I ain't even need a script. Ain't being conceited, but I made it to radio. Eat a dick. I still never ABC the shit. Mainstream appeal with the skill is what made me ever since before they called Jake. I was daydreaming one day I would be the shit. And if I ever end up escaping these streets, I swear that I would stay here still. And if I'm crazy, I'll always be real. Uh, don't make me still an 18 wheeler. Break all of my friends out of here and take them straight to the Mercedes. Still a pill all back to the same block that we came from. On a rampage, you crazy for me to flip. What's making you think I need a switch? Cause I'm Adrian Peterson when he's raging and heated in. On the way to go beat his kid, on a track, gets spanked like he just did. I can't never leave this bitch. Sick of being treated like me and shit, but Jesus, I can see just why people quit calling me to do features. And them cyphers on BET. Cause if I wasn't me, I probably wouldn't wanna play with me. Neither shit seems to be reaching this fever pitch. 180 degrees in here. Show the plate full of cedar chips and seeds that spit up more than they can chew like a face full of Swedish fish on the rainer with two penises. Hateful ingeniousness, inconvenience, and for the record, you won't want this type of static in your life when I'm making you clean to it. They consider time to re insulate your windows, maybe in for another crazy winner. Cause so cold in the day it is, as days begin to take away, but ain't this really what made me into the angry bit of blonde? But ain't me sick of being underdogs, don't make me unleash this shit, release this pit, may even seem as if huh. I'm yanking your chain a bit, or maybe the way in which I'm saying shit is playing with you, but ain't shit changing, it's still the same shit, and Shady's still a lady killer since the day I went insane and then attacked the babysitter with a potato pillar and mushed her face into the entertainment center. Huh. 
like another plane just sending into Ukraine again. A double muted triangle and attempted to make a safe and awaiting anyone who ain't affiliated. It could be danger. Did you make arrangements for the gangsters who you came here? In a minute, tell us. Tell them if they want it, they can come and get that. I swear I love my city, I just want love. See me, they say, with me, they ain't ready for that. Detroit verse, everybody. What up, though? Five for trick, trick. Either ride with us or get rolled on. That means Detroit versus everybody. Hey, yo, let me get that instrumental, take it down to the hood, let the little homies get this remix track. Detroit! Okay, 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 okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live at the Ripple Effect, keeping your nipples erect and your ladies' clitoris wet. We got a song coming up by Hijack. This is called There It Is featuring Daily Meds. Big shout out to Hijack, OG in the scene. DJ Blitz dropped that shit. Liquid tort, that jibber jabber, of course we're living lavish In the back of a paddy, pack in a pack in a pack in a fat sack of vernacular Spits black like a spatula, lash in a passenger, bracket up caps in my cannula I take the piss like a cow to the rope and he dick and the claims that I wax It's immaculate, on point and accurate Looking for a bit of action, bit of plan, an attack on the bachelorette Sharp as a kiss on the back of your neck, a mass effect Got your clapping hands like cats and ass, in the cash to the rack From a manager's jacket to pay for my gambling debt No standard orchestral accompaniments Just a man with a couple more clunts and a hook Half drunk, giving looks to the chicks in the front row Stumbling off stage, sponging your goods the dungeon, I dug for your love when you scream hijack in your jugular. Please smurf the bachelor, search for a circle, assist to the circle like Dracula. Me and me going up in the flow, and it's going to be another show where you say this fuck is spectacular. Okay, give us one more. Here's one more, bro. I know you know how we're hearing this. Been a while since you heard a real lyricist. Flip these flows, rip these shows, hit you through all the areas. That's the shit that I'm flipping out. That's the shit that I'm tripping out. That's giving your ass a whipping just to set your bass Look at how we are hearing this No one said you heard a real lyricist Flip these flows, with these shows It's just the whole area it is That's the shit they're gonna flip it out That's the shit they're gonna trip it out That's the shit that's giving your ass a whipping just to fuck the bass all right, ladies and gents, we are back at the Ripple Effect. We're going to bring Manners back shortly. In the meantime, can I get everybody in the live chat room to start putting your questions down, and we'll answer some of them. I can see one of our guests has already put a question down. Let's get some of you other guests out there being a bit more vocal. I also want to say January 24th in Melbourne at the Hi-Fi Bar, Manners Ill will be performing on the Cursor Tour. I believe there's two shows at the Hi-Fi Bar on that day. Are you going to be at both of them, Manners? Yeah, yeah. Man is going to be at both of them, man. So if you're yeah. in Melbourne on January... Tw- you know what? Fuck it, man. I'm going to be there. Uh, January yeah. 23rd, we've got a God Beef event. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, there on the 24th. On the Easy done. 
All right, man, so make sure January 24th you get down to the Hi-Fi bar and Manage will be performing on the Cursor Tour. And I'm going to fucking be there, man, so I hope to see you there too. All right, man, we're going to go to the last song of the segment and then we'll bring Manage back, so get your questions ready. This is a song by Purpose called Brain on Drugs. And this is produced by Debate. I hadn't heard his shit before this, so drop that DJ Blitz. Yeah. 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 Swing from the drums like a wrecking ball. Hey. My function is nothing, I'm just here to bend the rules. I'm the one that attended school to disrupt the assembly hall. Then went and got a job just to piss his money against the wall. I used to find it funny, now in debt. I guess the truth is kinda ugly. Yeah. Boop a bit off, but my more than I can shoot just like a dummy. Now it's hella cruel world, you are right, money. Better may wait, 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 what the hell he say? Like you care, you only listen to the beat anyway. Wait, wait, what the hell he say? I'll rest my case, let's just say the rest of playing chess have been a checkers game I'm feeling indestructible, but still Kill it. If my number's cool, kill them all, fuck them all Listeners leaning, I drug them, they strung out And when I hit that stage, I shut it the fuck down, let's go Yeah, listen, it's like your brain's on drugs It's like your brain's on brains on drugs Feel the take on, it's like your brain's on drugs I'll trip it, like I'll trip it, I'll trip it This is your brain They told me I should pick up the pace I went in that booth and damn near cut a mixtape a day uh, I saw this is a risk I should take And at this point I'm just throwing dicks on the industry's face Evil as white boys is Damien Thorne They said it since the day I was born Tell them they have been wrong Check your arguments about what's real or fake at the door And just enjoy this shit, that's the reason we're making it for Yeah, dick riders still persist to no end Just cause you stand close enough to him don't make you him If you love the motherfucker so much won't you move in Plus I heard you guys were into new things as soon as they get a glimpse of you in the lights They figure this is your life And in a way they are right Cause even though I still work a 9 to 5 What maybe not been of your life's instrumental to mine Listen, what did I do when I was 14? I roam the streets of Bali trying to score trees I was at school asleep on my desk When they asked why I said I needed my rest But it's a week of the test Add some seasoning and see if they sweat Mix the ingredients up, let's see what we get Come get a piece of this mess Everybody grab a small healthy And don't worry if the wall's melting Nah It's just cause When you listen, it's like your brain's on drugs It's like your brain's on brains on drugs Feel the tape on, it's like your brain's on drugs It's like your brain's on brains on drugs Rocking with the best. I go by the name of Simplex, representing Terra Firma Certified Wise. If the city had a voice, part three. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the Ripple Effect. We're going to get Manners back up to the mic. How are you, my homie? All right, you're right near the mic there, homie. Just what up, what up, what up? I'm All right, hot so we now. got Manners Ill, Manners Ill, Stevie Wonderful. What, what, <laughs> what, what, what other nicknames do you go under? Ray Charles Manson. Ray Charles Manson, Stevie Wonderful. Your oh, mom's I favorite like it, dick. I like it. And uh, Manners Ill ain't a Manners Ill. It's good to have you on the show, man. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, we're going to get a bit more serious. Before this, we've been more talking about, you know, battling and hip-hop. Uh, recently in the news was the Samson flat fires that happened here in South Australia. Uh. Started out in Mount Lofty and sort of worked its way north. Uh, did, did you know anybody that was either affected or involved in the fire? Yeah, dude, I was actually in town that weekend, and my girl, uh, my girlfriend lives in like Crafers West, so it wasn't like particularly, you know, close to the zone, but it had potential to, you know, head down that way. So it was definitely like present in our fucking minds when when yeah, we woke up that day, man. I remember the night I heard about it. To be honest with you, I thought people were just over exaggerating a bushfire because we get bushfires all the time, so I'm used to that. And I thought people were really over exaggerating it on Facebook. I go out in my backyard and let my dogs out for a piss, and I can smell the ash in the in the air. It's, I can smell it. I don't, I'm from Lincoln, bro. They, they have like a fucking serious bush bushfire there every like every year, bro. Do you know what I mean? So it's I know, crazy, it's, man. I'd, like, I'd rather motherfuckers over exaggerate shit than. Be no, under, definitely. Underprepared for it, you know what I mean? Because those, the, the shit is serious and it's a force of nature that's unpredictable, you know what I mean? So, I yeah, yeah, 100%. That right. the fear is justified, you know what I mean? I tell you what, it woke me the fuck up, man, because I didn't really take it. Like, I, I, again, I did think it was exaggerated on Facebook. I didn't take it that seriously. But the second I stepped out of my house, and I'm in Windsor Gardens in the north, oh. so I'm not even that near the fire, but I can still smell the burning and the ash yeah. in the air. 
that and the night shit, that the it shit, fucking happened. And it hangs around for days as well. Like, 100%, it's... man. And people have lost properties over it. They they, they, they damaged fire trucks to the CFS of volunteers. Too, yeah, they, so lost, they, they lost a truck, didn't they? That's, yeah, they lost a truck. How crazy is that? Like, that those dudes, like, are out there fighting it. and Because, you know, you, you, you expect the property is going to be lost. Animals are going to be lost. But for them to, like... Yeah, yeah, those dudes, those yeah, dudes who fight it. locals, they're, man. They're and how, locals. how hard would it have to be to be, like, defending other people's houses while yours is under threat, do you know what I mean? It's like, so crazy, Big ups man, to so those crazy. dudes for having yeah, the yeah, fucking, yeah. yeah that, big ups to the CFS, man. man, because the other thing is, like, like my ignorance on the, on the bushfire aside, like, I didn't really know about the CFS either. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I do, man, because I didn't beforehand. So if it took this for me to get familiar with them and appreciate what they do, then I'm fucking glad, man. Respect, recognize, man. Without them boys, man, without their volunteers and by the way let me stress volunteers they weren't getting paid for oh. any of that they were just doing no. it to protect the community literally putting themselves on the line of fire man 100 percent and much appreciated man and we did um last week we did a fundraiser last weekend it was um it was out at elders park just where the boats are and stuff like that oh. uh so they raised about 500 dollars there on that day and uh actually today man if anybody in adelaide is down by elder park the river torrens you go on the paddle boats or you buy a sausage sizzle all that money is going towards the CFS, man. So if, even, even if you're not that hungry, you don't give a fuck about the paddle boats, just go down there and make a small donation or something. Let's go on the paddle boy, boats later, boys. Hundred percent, bro. I went out there and with my fucking I haven't mate, been on man, that since I'm out I was there paddling kid, those boats. That's fucking good, good childhood memory shit, bro. Hundred percent, man. We were loving it. We ended up getting like three or four boats together and connecting them and just going down <laughs> yes. the river, man. It was fucking crazy. Those gangsters. Um, and I t- tell you what, the Popeye boats too. If you if uh. you pay for a river ride, that's all going to CFS. Today only is the last day, I believe. So Big ups, man. There. And there's, there's fucking one thing I noticed is like when I went on Facebook that day, there was a lot of motherfuckers like you know, going out of their way to donate shit or, you know, uh, give their support, whether it be in the form of, you know, um, household items or money or volunteering. And to me, like, that shit was, that was, she was real fucking positive to fucking say, I've got a phone call, I'm going to ignore. Hey, <laughs> you're all um, good, man. I appreciate Yeah, it. that was real inspirational, man, because, you know, there's so much cold-hearted shit in the world and there's Definitely, so many, man. so many things that'll make you lose faith in humanity that when you do have a tragedy like this and you get to see people bonding together through that shared sense of empathy, it's a beautiful thing, man. No, it is 100%, man. Like, like, just like you said, it's almost at a point where you almost think the world is just too fucked up and nothing good is coming out of anything. And then yeah, all yeah. of a sudden, community bands together. You've got the CFS out there exactly. doing their shit, working hard. Yeah, and, uh, good it's, it's good to see, yeah, people donating too. Like, at the end of the day, if you're broke as fuck, don't feel like you can't donate. If you've got household items that you don't need, you've got spare blankets donate them they're needed wow. and uh the animal shelters and the vets too you know they need bandages they, they need broke, medication if you, food, if you if, exactly if you, like if you're broke and you have no money or items to give give your time bro that's all you that's all you've got man, that's all you can give and you want to if you were in that position definitely man and look there, there's fundraisers everywhere even if you just want to be one of them people just helping out at a showground or something where a fundraiser is just offer your your physical self, man. Like can't that's that's good ask, enough. Man. It can't help. Can't uh, hurt to ask, bro. Like exactly, exactly. So I'm glad to see the community's really come together. I know um, Nova has raised a lot of money for the CFS as well. Um, and shout outs to the the SA Hemp Party as well because they were actually a part of last weekend. Right, the um, hemp like the weed. Yeah, man. And there was no weed involved this time. This time <laughs> they were just there to help raise donations and do their thing. Fuck yeah, that's dope. And you know it was run by the SA Hemp Party because the second they got time off or had a break, they'd be under a bridge smoking bongs and shit. And <laughs> fucking dabbing and vaping, man. But but shout-outs to Ryan Parker. He was one of the big parts of it, man. He's actually a big part of the SA Hemp Party. Put it together. Put it together, man. Raise sponsors and fucking raise that money, man. So, Fuck yeah, man. Big ups. <clears throat> big shout outs to him, but shout outs to anybody else doing their thing, man. Like, even if you're just donating food or you're donating your time, like, shout outs for that too, because that counts and it's really needed, man. Yeah. So, I'll tell you what, man, is we're going to move on to the next segment, and then right after this segment, we'll, we'll, we'll move into getting you live. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, man. Everybody here in the studio is ready for it, too. I'm glad about that. So, we're going to move into a segment I just call Add the Movies, man. Very simple. I want to know what you've been watching lately, man. Uh, what have I been? I've been listening to. Um... Well, what have you been listening to? What have you been hearing? <laughs> well, fuck. Uh, Mrs. made me listen to. Um, 
Hunger Games the other week. I went, oh, is that that new one, the third one? I went and caught, I watched, uh, I listened to the second one, and then the third one came out like a couple week, like a week after or something. And I listened to that, and that was pretty good, man. I haven't, I haven't heard the first one yet. Dude, dude, I'm not even gonna lie. One of my boys, like I'd like to say, a chick took me out, maybe watch the movie, but one of my boys <laughs> hit me up, and he was like, "You gotta see these Hunger Games movies, man." I hadn't even seen the first one. Huh? I tried, see, to, I, tried to, I tried to I tried to tell Marauder to watch it. See, that's crazy too. <laughs> you gotta go see it. You gotta go see it. It was Man, pretty I good, bro. I hadn't even seen the first one, so my boy hits neither, me up like, neither. the third one is coming out in cinemas, so I want you to watch you the know, first two with You me. know it's good if you can watch the second and the third one, and you can get it, and you dig it, and you get into it without even peeping the first, man. So. No, 100%, what, man. So, so, my, so my boy calls me out, and we watched the first two at his place, and I couldn't even uh. believe he dragged me into it, man. Like, <laughs> the first one that we watched, I didn't really get into it right away. I think it was a bit slow to get into it. Yeah. But then by the time I watched the second one, I was, like, ready for the third one. Yeah. That third one is good, man. What's, what else have been fucking people? I got... I got my old man fucking uh, see first season of Wentworth for uh, for Christmas. So I still haven't seen I that. I peeped like the first episode of that. That was pretty gangster. Aussie shit as well. That's Aussie shit. So that's fucking cool. And um, fuck what else, man? Um, man, I haven't seen Wentworth, and I still haven't seen Breaking Bad, bro. Like that's another that's, series I need that's to like. One, like I rip got, into. I got like three or four seasons deep in, and then I was. Like, well, I was like peeping it and then someone else was peeping out at the same time, but they were like two like episodes ahead. So it kind of fucked me up and I just yeah, abandoned yeah, yeah. it. Like, you like lost your place in yeah, the series? Yeah, yeah, but I've got it definitely when I've got time. I'll fucking go back and stuff. So, but other than that, man, um, fuck, I got to like when I got to fucking go peep some new shit. Yeah, man. Like I, I appreciate that you got to hear the movies. Like I appreciate that, but you still, you still hear movies, and you still. One thing I've, I really found was like important, dude. Is like rappers like make reference of so many like characters and and pop culture In references. Movies and so, shows and shit. So like one thing I really did is like if um if I if I like tried watching like peeping a movie and it didn't like I couldn't follow the plot or what was happening based on how it sounded I would just like I would Wikipedia the plot <laughs> <laughs> just like I would like read the breakdown and be like that's pretty cool I might try it so I was like so like that way I wouldn't I wouldn't be limited in my fucking references by not just not peeping shit you know what I mean like, no that's smart dude the thing that really fucked me up about you was I think it might have even been at the disaster versus Manazil event. Uh. You ended up coming up to me and you said something like, um, I love your red sneakers, bro, or something like that. Like, you came up to me and you were like, I nah. love your red and black sneakers, bro. No, and I'm it was like, what? It was because in the, in the battle, he said, um, you probably go out wearing an orange shirt and a purple hat. Or <laughs> no, no, bro. <laughs> yo, yo. This wasn't even that, bro. This wasn't even that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah it was like, shirt, dude. Shirt, it was like it was like no, he no, wanted. The thing that was fucked up is I, I was wearing an orange shirt, but I was wearing a blue hat. It was like he wanted. The fuck is on the YouTube comments? Just, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, couldn't yeah, get away from it. Was it was like he wanted to diss you on it, but he didn't want to offend you. So he just no, no, like, no, no. But I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about you came up with me just to fuck with me because you said I, I love your red and black Jordans, bro. And I actually got fucked up about it. I'm like, what? I, I, know, I, think, I, I think it might have even been Donnie that just whispered in your ear that I was wearing like red and black sneakers or something. That's okay. That's okay. So, so, somebody did it and then I realized like you actually do that though you actually do kind of fuck with people from time uh, to time it's fun bro it's fun it's <laughs> it's, I think it's fucking hilarious because the other thing too like a lot of people hit me up about you yeah yeah a lot of people hit me up about you and they go uh how does manage respond to me on facebook yeah it's it a, fucks people's heads up in a way awesome. but i know you got like a program on your phone or some shit no mom just reads every message out <laughs> oh for real for real <laughs> so when i'm hitting you up it's not necessarily you you hearing it at it's, that given time no it's um they, my, my guide dog's trained to read it all out he one bark is like what's up <laughs> I'm not even walking into that one, man. I'm really not even letting that happen. But so, so is it pretty much whoever's with you at the time, though? Like, we'll read out the message for you, or no? Basically, I, I there's a program that reads the shit out. That's what I thought it yeah. was. So that's what it is. It's like the the I should have like my own frequently asked questions, like that is with all the like the mysteries of how a blind person would live in the world. Like that is the biggest. Like not. Not like how do you like walk down the road? How do you like get dressed or how do you do any of these other things? It's how do you use Facebook, bro? No, that's the thing. Nobody <laughs> ever asked me any question other than how does he use Facebook? It's the most how does he respond to me thing. on my fan page? Yeah. And how does he tweet me and shit yeah. like that? And I'm it's like, awesome. 
I, I try to tell people like he's not a fucking dumbass. Like yeah. there's ways that th technology that... people we're in exactly, a fucking blessed exactly. time of the world. Man, can you think about it though in the fifties or some shit? Oh, yeah. they, they wouldn't have had Facebook back then. That would have been like. harsh times, man. Harsh times. I tell you what, what we're gonna do before we get into the live segment, my bro, I'm I'm gonna like ask a couple of the questions that the people uh, here in the chat room have asked. The first one is, how do you use Facebook? <laughs> no, it's not. it's not. Big shout outs to, to the people here with some original questions because the very first question is, who is your favorite artist you have worked with? Oh, shit. <clears throat> Fuck, bro. It would either be, I reckon, um, there's a few, man. It would either be Prime because he was just like, when I was, when I was like real coming up and even to this day, I'm a huge fan of his work. Do you know what I mean? So like, Prime is like your favorite artist that you've worked he's, with. He's one of them. One Dundee of them. is someone who's always consistent. He's like, <clears throat> he's, he's, you know personality and character and, and his technicality and his raps is like amazing and his work ethic and also um i reckon rates bro because that dude like, like yeah, we before, he's, like, he's like a realist and also the the, the lads who i'm like fucking um i rap with like dotty deluxe marauder like the motherfuckers who are not just my friends but they're also talented motherfuckers who are, i happen to yeah, oh, tolerate. Hundred percent, dude. Like, well, we just yeah. had Deluxe in here a couple of weeks back, uh, man. Like, uh. I support the Adelaide motherfuckers out here because I think we're privileged to have such a good talent pool out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So the other question is, somebody also said, who's the most difficult artist that you had to work with? Oh shit. Um. Dotty, yeah. Dude, trying I to co-sign the fuck trying out. Trying to that. get that motherfucker <laughs> to like. <laughs> <laughs> to like do a fucking verse or just get to get him to talk. show up and like, rap because like <laughs> like recently like one, one of my one of my good homies who actually you gave us a um exhibition battle at the chino excels where my homie left oh, he shit. um he, he passed away like, i heard track. and i also peeped the track that you you did to him as well thank you man yep. cheers and um yeah like since since he passed because he was like one of one of, not only my best mate and my brother but like sort of it was one of my most influential dudes who I came up with and like I didn't I never got a track with him done so like one of my things I really set out to do was like do tracks with all my homies who do rap do you know what I mean and um yeah man yeah, I've, yeah. I, you know get, getting most of these motherfuckers together hasn't been too hard until it's come to dotting in which case of it's he's making me fucking work for it <laughs> and I, I t tell you what with lefty too man I think I think you battled him on stage it was at the Chino yeah, Excel Chino, show or some shit Chino gig man so man like R.I.P. Lefty man because I actually as soon as I saw you posted the track up you kind of put a little bit of a backstory with it yeah, as soon yeah. as I read the name Lefty I was like damn I yeah. remember that dude and that's my brother man yeah Rest man R.I.P. man R.I.P. R.I.P. Mandel R.I.P. everybody that we're losing man yeah. Rest in peace, man just cherish Rest everybody peace. while you got him man Rest in peace Mandel Jake Jimmy. James motherfucking Wes all, all, all the fucking all the homies, man. Yeah, man. Rest in peace, all manners people. Rest in peace, my people, too, man, because we're losing way too many people. Oh. But, man, that's that's why I cherish the people you got around you, man, because you, you never know how long you got with anybody, and you never know how long you got either. So oh, exactly, man. Uh, look, man, we do have one more question before we move on. Somebody also said, if you could collab with anybody around the world, who would it be? <laughs> Dotty, yeah, Dotty, Dotty. <laughs> it, no, shit. That's who like the safe it? answer, Dotty. <laughs> and it, 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 yeah, like yeah, Eminem would be good, but he would just body me, so it's like it would be it would be cool. No, no, no. I'd say like someone like, like the shoddy horror collab was meant to happen, but he's like got label deadlines and he's Ooh, consistently that'd be, that'd busy. Be dope collab, but like when, yeah, yeah, Meek Mill would be awesome. Man. I love his like, mixtapes, man. Meek's a fucking king, bro. Hundred percent, um, bro. Fuck. Other than that, bro, like, fuck, dude, like someone like. Just get it locally, 360. Yeah, 60 would be fucking you cool. And 60, you and 60, you would do a track I with meant 60. To, meant to have Curse on the mixtape, but he's, once again, man, that dude is just a busy motherfucker, so his hides have been down. I can there's, understand that too, There's man. a couple of cats, bro, but, like, ultimately, like, there's, there's, like, I think doing, like, international collabs, you, you run yourself at risk at, like, a lot of dudes, I think, they either get bodied by the international they collab with, or like the dude stoops to the level and does some corny Australia references. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. like, um, <clears throat> it's been it's been done before. Most of the no, 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 it's just it has to be done right. You can't just do something because you want to do it. You've got to you've got to do it because it's like it's it's like organic and it comes together from mutual respect, not just like here's you know a thousand dollars jump on my track. It's a yeah, paycheck. Dude, it's totally, got to come together totally. out of mutual respect and out of artistic creativity man so. totally man I, I feel like if you and shoddy did a track 
A, it's going to mean something, but yeah. B, I think it would be a dangerous track, but you yeah. want to know you're getting shoddy horror, though. You don't want yeah. him just, like, spitting and a rough 16 no. in the studio and being like, here, man, it's, here's my verse. And, but big up to him, because, like, fucking, um, I did, I think when I was in KOTD, I did uh, one hot minute, like, interview, and I said I was, um, that's the dude I'd want to work with, and he reached out to me from that point, and we, we met at World Domination. That dude's <clears throat> one of the cool coolest motherfuckers we met, I uh, man. Definitely, man. Like, I met Briggsy. I haven't met Shoddy Hori yet. Briggsy's I met Briggsy. a fucking king he's, as well, Dude, man. he's a Shout beast. Outs. And, yo, his music is fucking Yeah, dope, that, bro. um, what was the mixtape he did when he came out here, bro? The, the, the Heimlich Effect or something? No, no, no. The, the Heisenberg? No, no. I, I feel like remember. I'm fucking it up. No, no, no. It was like, it was Briggsy's one. It was just about, like, leaving to come out here and shit. It was real cool, man. It was real Oh, good. shit, right. I mean, maybe I haven't heard that one. It maybe I haven't good, heard man. that one. Uh, like, fuck. I can't remember. It was... I can't remember, but it was fucking But the heat. point we're making is that Briggsy's a fucking beast. The whole Mosh Team camp are really dope. Mosh Team. Mosh Team. The other thing is too, man, when I did talk to the Shoddy Horror about you, he said, because we, we, we were looking to get him battling at one point. Oh. So we were talking about it, and he did say, he said 360 and Man is Ill. Yeah, bro, yeah. He didn't mention Curse, he didn't mention Justice, he didn't mention any of that, but he said 360 or Man is Ill. first thing he said when he rolled up to me at World Domination was um, long time no see what it looked like. So he's, pe he's been peeping this shit. Definitely, bro. He's, man. He's, uh, Definitely, man. He's obviously like fucking edit a, a fucking well-rounded battle watcher. So big ass to those boys. Big ass to the UK scene. Yeah, big ups. big ups to all of them, man. Don't fall fucking killing it right now. Oh. KOTD as well is really on their shit. And URL, the whole alphabet is doing quite well at the moment. Definitely, man. And I'm confident that, that starting with this Vanguard event, but events to follow, we're going to get the Australian battle scene, yeah. breathing some life into it and getting it back in shape because I feel like we haven't gone anywhere. We're just, we need to get back onto that platform once again. Yeah, that, yeah, man. All right, man, Azil. So I uh, tell you what, we're gonna get you going live, man. Well, you you got a few tracks you're gonna lay down for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, I got some shit off. Uh, I think I might do a couple exclusive joints off a of mixtape. I uh, know Plan B is <coughs> coming out in the next few months. I did these shows, uh, these fucking songs, like the first time live last night. So this is right, super so this new is for fresh exclusive. for you as well. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. So what are you cooking up for us first? What's the first joint? I got a track I think I'll do called What I Sound Like. Um, All right, What It Sound Like. Yeah, yeah. I should have kept that in mind when we did the movie segment. <laughs> All right, man. So so this is called What It Sound Like, and this is going to be on the No Plan B mixtape. Yeah. All right, man. Azil, we're going to get you going live, yeah, well, bro. And as soon as DJ Blitz is ready to drop nice that beat. beat, we'll get you spitting, man. Yeah, yeah. Mike right in front of you too, man. So make sure you Can't get in nice and close and let these uh, listeners uh, hear you. Uh. Yeah. All right, and do we know when the No Plan B mixtape is coming out? You uh, said Ma March, you said March, April, April? man. It's just, I'm just trying to balance it out with all the shows and battles I got coming up. But I got, like I said, like a couple of weeks free in February, so I'm going to really try and just get in there, um, smash it out, man. All right, man. And January 24th as well, you're performing at the Curses show in Melbourne at the Hi-Fi Bar. Yeah, I'm doing the underage and the overage show, supporting the homie Casa. And um, then the weekend after that, I'm going to One House New Zealand to uh, battle... Uh, scholar in Auckland, so that's that should be fucking next level. Yep. And Z, yeah, I haven't been there before, so we're going over there. No slide scene, and then um, yeah, then it's the fucking the source battle of Vanguard, bro. And you're battling Cos, yeah? I'm battling big Cos, man. Like I really had reservations about coming back into actually battling myself, but yeah. I thought if I am gonna come back, I may as well do it on a big platform and battle somebody who makes sense. Fuck yeah, that would be entertaining, bro. Cause yeah, man, is big, dope. big, big Cos is a fucking man. veteran, fucking, man. It'd be fucking sick, bro. At the end of the day, man, like, if, if I was going to come back and battle, it needs to be somewhere where it, where it means something and I can actually, if I'm going to take some time away from doing the business side of things and actually be a rapper again, I need to, it needs to be worth my time. Yeah, and yeah. I think Big Cos is more than worth my time. I think he's a real, real crazy opponent. Yeah. And uh, if we were going to battle too, it had to be in Brisbane. I may as well battle him in his city because yeah, he's going to go fucking off. There's something more more to be said about going to going to someone and battling them them in their turf i reckon man definitely man definitely and i, I, t I tell you what that vanguard event man is going to be it's going to be the start of rebuilding the battle scene it's not that i personally don't feel like the battle scene fell off in any way but i think we're just in the rebuilding stage right now well so we're bringing it back well. now i've not just working? had dj blitzers just hit me up and said yeah. said he can't get the beats queued up on the usb oh shit. do we have uh, backup options here? um we can go on youtube and play it off there if you can do that i tell you what i can do there's two options we can try and get on youtube and maybe play the instrumental or uh, we do have instrumentals on deck too which which uh, option do you want to go i'll try the youtube one first man because it's actually i can do one of the beats that 
All right, I, t I tell yeah, you what, man, yeah. I need to keep talking. Blitz, can we, can we get you to try and jump on the YouTube? Or we'll see. I guess we'll have to try and download it and rip it off the YouTube, right? I, I, t I tell you what we could do. Before we get Man of Steel going live, then, should we go into the next music segment and then we'll, we'll buy ourselves some time before we get Man of live? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you what, you're watching us wing it here on the spot. So for some reason, we can't load Manners instrumentals into the mixer. So what we're going to do is go online, we're going to rip them. So we're going to bring Manners back very shortly. So I'll tell you what, Manners, give us about 10 minutes and we'll drop a few songs from uh, the next segment and then we'll yeah. get you going live. That cool? Easy, bro. All right, man. So this next segment, in that case, we're just going to wing it. We're going to flip the script right away. We're going to say we're yeah, going to yeah, get yeah, into yeah, Real yeah, and Raw. Yeah, this well. is a segment where we play some of that OG, old school, boom bap, hip hop that some of you love. The very first song we're going to drop is by a rapper that really got me into the game and really changed my life. This is Ice-T, New Jack Hustler, DJ Blitz. Soon as you're ready, drop that shit. Word, I pull the trigger long, grip my teeth, spray to every nigga's gone. Got my block sewn on my dope spot. Last thing I sweat, so suck a punk top. Move like a king when I roll hop. You try to flex, bang, another bang. nigga drop. You gotta deal with this, cause in the way out. Why? Cash money ain't never gonna play out. I got nothing to lose, much to gain. In my brain, I got a capitalist migraine. I gotta get paid tonight. You motherfucking right, stick in my grip. Check my bitch, keep my game tight. So many hoes on my jock, think I'm a movie star. 19, I got a $50,000 car. Go to school, I ain't going for it. Kiss my ass, bust the cap on the moat. Cause I don't wanna hear that crap. I'd rather be a new jack hustler. Hustler. Yo, man, you know what I'm saying? You got it going on, my man. I like how it's going down. You got the flat floor. The girls, the jewel. Look at that ring right there. I know it's real. It's got to be real. Man, you the flyest nigga I've seen in my life. Yo, man, I just want to roll with you, man. How can I be damn? What's up? You say you want to be down east. Back. A motherfucker get beat down out my face. Fool, I'm the illest. Bulletproof. I die harder than Bruce Willis. Got my crew in effect. I bought them new Jags. So much cash. It in hefty bags, all I think about is cheese and cheese. Imagine that, me working at Mickey D's. That's a joke, cause I'm never gonna be broke. When I die, I'll be bullets and gun smoke. You don't like my lifestyle, fuck you. Fuck you. I'm rolling with the new Jack crew. And I'm a hustler. H-U-S-T-L-E-R, hustler. New Jack, new Jack, new Jack, hustler. New, 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 new Jack, hustler. New Jack, new Jack, new Jack, hustler. Here I come, so you better break north As I stride, my gold chains glide back and forth I care nothing about you, and that's evident All I love is my dope and dead president Sound crazy? Well it isn't The ends justify the means, that's the system I learned that in school, then I dropped out Hit the street, checked the grip, and now I got clout I had nothing and I wanted it. You had everything and you flaunted it. Turned the needy into the greedy. With cocaine, my success came speedy. Got me twisted, jamming to a paradox. Every dollar I get, another brother drop. Maybe that's the plan and I don't understand. God damn, you got me sinking in quicksand. But since I don't know and I ain't never learned, I gotta get paid. I got money to earn with my posse out on the app. Bump my sound, crack a 40 and laugh. Cool out and watch my new bins clean. Is this a nightmare or the American dream? So think twice if you're coming down my block. You want to journey through hell? Well, shit gets hot. Pregnant teens, children scream. Life is weighed on the skills of a triple beam. You don't come here much and you better not wrong move. Bang! Ambulance cot. I got to get more money than you got. So what if some motherfucker gets shot? That's how the game is played. Another brother slain the wound is deep. But they giving us a band-aid. My education's low, but I got long going reads like a pit bull. My heart pumps nitro. Sleep on silk, fly like a politician. My ooze is my best friend, cold as a mortician. Lock me up, this genocidal catastrophe. There'll be another one after me, a hustle. Hustler, new jack, new jack, new jack, 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 hustler
Ladies and gentlemen, never fear, we are going to have Manners Up going live shortly. In the meantime, this is Real and Raw. We're about to play the second song of the segment. This is by The Undergods, which is Keith Murray and Cannabis. This is Show and Prove featuring Crooked Eye. DJ Blitz, drop that shit. If I am guilty, I will pay. Coast, yo. Tomato, tomato, you still be a vegetable, nigga. Potato, potato, get fried by professional trigger. Man, intellectual killer. You gay as Marvin, you a sexual healer. I'm a poetical dealer. I dealt way before. A real gangster, that's what the cops hate me for. I'm drunk on a Henny, I jump in my Hemi. I'm dumping my Simi at any enemies. Fucking with my bucks and my pennies. A gunner like Billy the Kitty was tough. Even he would get fucked up if he grew up in my city. Minutes to society, I'm America's own. The one they base old dog's character on. Uh, carrying chrome, we ain't scared of Capone. Wish he was here now. Gunshots, Mary is dull. You know how Los Angeles do. Kill you if you step on Keith Murray or Cannabis Shoe. Fuck off. Yo, we are back here live at the Ripple Effect, keeping your nipples erect and your ladies clitoris wet. We've got a song by Busta Rhymes. This is Ready for Raw. This is Real and Raw segment. Busta Rhymes, Ready for War. DJ Blitz, drop that shit. Trilateral Commission. Berkowitz. <laughs> Fizzy Woe. Bust down.
We are back here live on the Ripple Effect. We got the last song of the segment, man. And I'm going to throw, man, I'm in the mood for this one, too. This is by Tupac, two of America's most wanted, featuring Snoop Dogg, DJ Blitz. Drop that shit. R.I.P. Tupac. <laughs> Ain't nothing but against the party. Oh, shit. You done fucked up, man. You done put two of America's most wanted in the same motherfucking place at the same motherfucking time. <laughs> Y'all niggas about to feel this. Break out the champagne glasses and motherfucking condoms. Have one on us, alright? Picture perfect. I paint a perfect picture. Bomber hoochers with precision. My intentions took you with you with that and double OP. Dog, my fucking homie. You the cold ass nigga on the mall. Show sure enough. I keep my hand on my gun because they got me on the run. Now I'm back in the coat room waiting on the outcome. Three two pockets on the on the niggas' mind. But at the same time, it seems they trying to take mine. So I'm gonna get smart and get the and put together a million march for some gangster shit. So now they got a place to multi millionaire motherfuckers catch a case. Mm. Bitches get ready for the throwdown. The shit's about to go down. Uh, me and Snoop about to clown. <laughs> I'm losing my religion. I'm vicious on these fool pigeons. You might be deep in this game, but you got the rules missing. Niggas be acting like you savage. They out to get the cabbage. I got nothing but love for my niggas live a I got a pit named P. She nigga Rena. I got a house out in the hills right next to Chena. And I think I got a black memo. Dream is to own a fly casino like Bugsy Seagull and do it all illegal and get scooped up by the little homie in the Riga. Mm. It feel good to you, baby bubba. You see, this is for the G's and the keys, motherfucker. Now follow as we ride, motherfuck the rest to of the best from the west side. And I can make you famous, niggas been dying for years. So how can they blame us? I live in fear of a felony. I never stop bailing me. Give me 50 feet, defeat is not my destiny 
turn green. Let me tell you about life and about the way it is. You see, we live by the gun, so we die by the gun. Tell me not to roll with my Glock, so now I got a little wave floating in the black bin. Trying to do the show today. Hey, wonder how I live with five shots. Niggas, it's hard to kill on my block. Games for currency and double lady. Affiliated with the hustlers, so we made it. No answer to questions, trying to get a phone. My nigga dog gave me eternally. We are live. We are back at the Ripple Swoop. Effect. We're getting fucking excited in this studio, man. There's oh, energy oh, for days. Turned up. Shout outs, Dottie. Shout outs, Jeez. Deluxe, and the whole scientific science smart it's mouse what? movement, man. Shout outs, Ross Kent, who I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with. But these boys are going to make sure <laughs> I'm not. Ross Kemp. All right, man. We're about to. Uh, big shout outs, Mastercraft, in the uh, chat room, by the way. Shout outs, all the guests. <laughs> shout outs, Resin Fingers. Big up, homie. That's all a right. sick name. We're about to DJ Resident Fingers used to do shit with Chasing Perception oh, back in the day. Was, man. Yeah, they were subversive. Subversive, man. that's right, man. That's right. Oh, oh. Oh, 100%, bro. Big, Big shout out to all them guys, man. Big up. All right, tell you what, man, Azil, without further ado, we're, we're going to get yeah. you live, man. So can you just remind us what you're going to kick off you're with? You're going to kick off. With the future, I don't actually know what we're gonna kick off with. It's gonna. It's off the no plan yeah, B mix, no, no, right? No, no, no. That shook, shook joint. Yeah, shook ones. Oh no, the fucking kitty ink joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this joint's uh, shook ones part three. It's off uh, the mixtape no plan B. Um, you should love this. Which is coming out March April. Uh, yeah. All right, man, Azil, the crowd is yours, man, and DJ Blitz. Soon as you drop that beat, we're gonna get man Azil live, man. Ah, uh, let's go. Uh, let us know what sounded good too, man. I you to, uh, it. Turn it up a little bit, my brother, man. Ha 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 ha. To all the chillers and the motherfucking pillars. Uh. My teeth ain't got no feelings. We got you stuck off the illness. Fucked up off a couple of pills. It's man, it's wonderful up in your building. Shout out to the brothers that's your end. Hustle and deal with. Loyalty makes respect. Respect makes moves. This moves make money. Those checks pay dues. Now I'm killing everybody. But you press play to work in the deadlines like an essay's due. I'm Rambunk society. Damn function. This that shit to get the jam bumping. This that shit to make the fans jump in. I got back up. The you think I am fronting? Snakes in the grass, I know eat them out. Against all odds, I'm getting even now. Rappers talk shit, but if my name leaves their mouth, guess who the next time I ride my bed I shook. Cause ain't no such things as halfway crooks. I'm not fussed by how hard they look. They won't take the shit past Facebook. Nah, they shook, bruh, they shook. Ain't no such things as halfway crooks. Ain't no such things as halfway crooks. Ain't no such things as halfway crooks. Crooks, crooks. For every line I write, another rhyme and dies. And I'ma keep it up so long as I'm alive. Uh, shining like a blinded light. Don't backpedal when it's time to write. Off that rum and whiskey, I become oblivious to the fact that I'm turning to something hideous, acting dumb, belligerent, drunk, and ignorant. Now my mum is flipping because her son's an idiot, but I'ma kill this flow until it's extinct. Do it for my people, I don't care for what the rest think. Stepped in the game with more flavor than breath mints. Battled the best brick I met with and bet him. Real talk, they got beef. One else to grind time, they watch me. Free spitting or pre written, I rock beats and my whole crew's underground. Mob deep shook. Ain't no such things as halfway crooks. I'm not fussed by how hard they look. They won't take the shit past Facebook. Nah, they shook. Bruh, they shook. Ain't no such things as halfway crooks. Ain't no such things as halfway crooks. Ain't no such things as halfway crooks. Crooks, crooks. Next shit, next shit. 
That is ill. Yo, did you just freestyle those bars shouting out the Battle Leagues? No, no, no. That was... No, that's actually in the track? I freestyled the whole track. That's crazy, <laughs> man. I'm not going to like, I'm not going to get sucked into Man is Ill's little spider I actually, web. I actually freestyled the whole album and the mix safe as well. Yeah, yeah. It was just a freestyle on, on your couch? Every battle that I've on ever Marshall done. On Mother's couch? Yeah. Every battle I've ever done is freestyle too. On some real shit though, in the track, is that actually in the track? Shouting yeah. out Scott B for one yeah. hour? Some yeah, yeah. everybody. It's just, Big shout out to It's homage to my man, fucking like... battles, bro. No, I love it too. I love it that you're not afraid to, you know, kind of give back and shout us out too, man. I appreciate it. What we got what? coming up next? Um, we'll do the uh, Summertime Sadness one, I reckon, bro. Man, it's ill fucking killing it. So that was Shook One's part three. That is going to be on the No Plan B mixtape. Yeah. Man, it's ill. They're all yours, man. Uh, the shout out to my brother Da Vinci on his beat. Shout out to Vinci Melvin. What up, what up, what up, what up? Big ass to me, my brother, the motherfucking man, Toddy. Shout out to my brother, d -Lux. DJ Bless. Shout out to my girl, B. What up, man? Shout out to Ha, that's a my shit. Kiss me hard before you go. Swoop. That's my new rap sound, in case you haven't figured it out yet. Uh, yeah. If you dig this shit, peep, no plan B coming soon. Uh, some deep shit, check this out. Hey, love. The feeling that strong is pretend you don't need it But really you want it and for it Most of us are killed to be honest It isn't the high from the pills or the chronic It's love Not for that a word with potential to give you strength Or get you hurt so some take it for granted Forget it's worth or can't find it And think of a more sex a word to get love It's making me wonder how ladies I come across Can be so up themselves Afraid because once she got played by a tough of her and she don't love herself Instead she loves shopping and dancing and wants a romance Where that doc know who's handsome, intelligent, sensitive, popular And I'm the opposite, damn it, what are the chance? Big ass line to go right Swoop! Say I'm pumped, what up? I just wanted ah. you to know I'm no plan, me yeah, love is rare and exclusive at times it can hurt and I'm bearing the bruises We all make mistakes so just bear the excuses Some people just say don't know where that is useless but love I swear it's a loser, so scarcely and true, but get scary to lose And some people mess up cause they're careless and stupid Or treated as though it's just there for amusement But love can be terribly ruthless You break someone's heart, I'll compare you to Judas Spend their love life being wary of Cupid or jealous Mouths can become very abusive, it's love Songs on the stereo, you're muted If there is love in the air, then we're clueless Romantic slow dancing, I tear is the music If love's a dope beat, then we're the producers Wow. Yeah. Lana Del Rey happy to be featured on the mixtape. One love. Shout out to Tolls. Shout out to Tolls. What up, brother? Swoop. Let's get that next track, Blitz. Big shout outs, man. It's ill. Killing it right now. We got something else to end the show, huh? Yeah, yeah. We got one more track. This is going to be an exclusive. I haven't done this shit before. It's over Marauder B. It just hooked me out literally fucking 10 minutes ago. So I appreciate it, man. Yeah. So you don't even know how this is going to go. Nah. Um, my fucking voice is fucked as well. I did a show last night. Shit got pretty fucking live. And, um,. So none of the melodies are coming out how they're meant to. It sounds haggard and raw, and I kind of like Bro, it. Man, it's still killing it, man. I don't even want to hear that. Killing it. <laughs> Shout out to Tofu. Shout out to Tofu. Why not? I don't even know you. Shout out, Paige. Shout out, Paige. What up? Read between the lines. Ah, uh, Marauder. Get it, man. It's Do mood shit. What up? Oh, yeah. Lay that vamps out. Mummies. Ah. Uh. These labels do not wanna deal with my type I'm real and that's why they can't touch me So they do not know what that feeling is like I still got the drive to succeed And that comes with the will to survive Man and Zill in the mic Catch me a shoes and I'm killing it live Uh Try run me down like my run is up Try count me out like my number's up But my homies know down if there's something up And you can count on me just as I'm up 
Stay loose off the grey goose, take two pills, no telling what I may do. I send a rap for home, running like Bay Roof. Get up in the Mac and then the stage to Bay Root. Knowledge is power friendly, they knew. Take real up and only fake dudes hate you. I never had a breakthrough debut, but I earn respect for working to pay dues. I get licking up high and left and I don't give a fuck. That's horrific. Ride the rhythm, just right and lyrics. They said I could have, that's what I did. Unbelievable, science fiction. Unbelievable, like religion. Rap God, fuck the Bible's wisdom. Catch me live at gigs and I'm a classic Christian. So mind your business, riders with us. Riding on the ball like hieroglyphics. All I really need is I'm like the ribbon, I'ma drop that fashion Dietitian, I'm so gifted, I got rhymes flipping I guess I'm on my presence and it might be Christmas I try to get big, from the side of the midget So they don't mess her up like heart restrictions What? Yeah. Swoop! Killing him Exclusive, no plan B Uh Big ass to do me, raw advance Man, it's been a pleasure, man, it's ill Rah. Pleasure, pleasure Tape two, is that just some fresh shit that, that you've was, cooked up? That was literally fresh shit, man Man, I appreciate it, and the listeners, thank you for tuning in, man, because I know you guys are probably fucking loving this shit. That was Manazil, episode 24, man. Manazil, shout-outs for coming through, man. I'm glad thank we could for, finally have you on the show. Thank you for having me, brother. Man, I look forward to, so you can catch Manazil January hey. 24th at the Hi-Fi Bar yeah, yeah, in yeah. Melbourne, yeah, performing yeah. at both of the Cursor shows. Yeah, get what that it MDMA like. album, what it looked like. You get can get that on iTunes. Get that giant Tiffic shit as well. Dotty got copies. Deluxe got copies of the giant hey, Tiffic shit. Hey, catch from motherfucking Giantific science. Catch giant Tiffic fucking support and Dirty Dark and get tickets off the brother Deluxe. Hit 100%. all these motherfuckers up. Shit is real and feel when it's ill. We got a good caliber of people here in this building, man. Remember, you can get what it looked like from MDMA. That's Medusa and Manazil. Yeah. You can get it on iTunes. You can also just hit up the Manazil fan page or the yeah. LMR fan page. Yeah. Get the album from there. Not only will you see Manazil January 24th in Melbourne at the Hi-Fi Bar, but also February 28th at the Hi-Fi in Brisbane. A vanguard. What Battling up? thesaurus, man. Uh, uh. All right, we're out of here like we stole something. Thank you for coming through, Manazil. That was episode 24. Bang, bang. Peace out, my bean sprouts. Yo, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up.